Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to finish our discussion of masks. If you've missed the first two episodes on masks, namely drone masks and parametric masks, you can find them in the Dark Table from A to Z playlist. Next on the menu is how to combine drone and parametric masks. And that's the fifth tab. You'll notice that it's actually a combination of the two previous ones. Here you have, well, first we've got the blend mode and the opacity that work as all of the other tabs. Then you have the drone masks that afford you the same options of drone masks. And under it is the parametric mask with exactly the same options that we had in the parametric masks tab. The most important part here is the Combine Masks drop-down menu because it allows us to determine how we are going to combine these masks together. The default is exclusive. You can think of it as multiplying all of the masks together. If you remember from the previous videos, the mask will set the value for any pixel between 0 and 1, that is 0 no effect for that module on that pixel to one 100 percent effect of the module on that pixel exclusive will multiply the masks if we had one mask with zero effect on a pixel and another with one that intersect so on the same pixel the net effect will be zero and so on and so forth if the effect of both uh, masks were one then the net effect will be one as well let's try that start with parametric mask and for that I'm going to use the area that automatically sets the mask I'm going to select the sky again if you've missed the previous video and you'd like to learn more about parametric masks, you can go back into the playlist and check it out. I'll select the same area and click here to show the effect. And there you go. This selected this admittedly very small area of the image. And now I'm going to take a drone mask and put a circle or well, an ellipse and put it here as you can see this now acts as an intersection that's because everything that's outside of this ellipse is actually zero so you multiply that with whatever was the effect from the parametric mask and the result will be zero and here, since the effect of this one is one inside of the ellipse, then whatever the effect was from the parametric mask here will remain the same. The next option in the drop down menu is inclusive, which I have a small problem with. According to the manual, I'll read it, is to first invert each individual mask, subtract its value from one, multiply the inverted masks together and finally invert the combined masks once again. So for any given pixel the final mask will have a value of 1 if any individual masks are 1 at that location. So in layman's term it's supposed to work as a union. However from that explanation I'd expect to draw the masks, change the combined mask method here to inclusive and get the union. However, I'll show you that doesn't work that way. So if we go and select a parametric mask, let's say this one again, there. Now, if I add a 
circle here in exclusive you'd get nothing because it's the intersection if I move it here you would see that it's an intersection but I would expect it just to do all the work for me when I move it to inclusive if I do that the whole image is selected after some search online I found out that there are other people who thought the same however it seems that the developers think that we are supposed to do the first part manually let me explain I'll reset this so if you want to do that you first have to invert all of the channels of the parametric mask manually by pressing here and now if you display the mask you'll see that nothing is selected then you have to manually try to select the area that you're interested in let's see if we can uh, that's not needed and that one isn't needed either all right let's say this is what I wanted and I wanted to add a circle now make sure that this is inclusive I'll press on the toggle pol polarity of the drone mask as well and add a circle and there you go it's the union of the two masks I'm not sure why it's done that way but that's how you have to do it the next two modes are the same as the previous ones but then inverted at the end I think that's self-explanatory let's try the inclusive and inverted and as you can see it selects everything that was excluded from the previous mask if a mask selection of a pixel was one it will become zero vice versa and anything in between the same works for the exclusive and inverted don't have to show it I think because it's self-explanatory last we have a very useful way of reusing the whole end result of the mask in another mask instead of having to redo all of the parametric masks and the drone masks and the combination and etc etc if I go now to another module say filmic and go to the masks the last tab is called raster mask raster mask allows you to use all of the masks that you've used in other modules in this module so if we go here and say raster mask there is a drop down menu and you'll find a list of the end result so the final mask that you've used in other modules if I choose the tone equalizer that will be exactly the same as the one that I had in the tone equalizer I can't see it here but I can toggle its polarity I can change its blend mode and its opacity however unfortunately I can't see it here but this way you can make sure that you're using the same end result of your mask selection from one module in another one and that's it that concludes our discussion of masks I find that mask selection in dark table is very powerful and very useful the ability to isolate parts of the image and work separately on them is really helpful I have a small problem with the inclusive mode but that's fine it's a little bit clunky to to do but it's doable other than that everything works really well and it's one of the parts that really attracted me to dark table and one that I still appreciate I hope that you found this video interesting if you have any suggestions corrections or questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye bye